Hey everyone, this is Zach with Sweet CG. Have a new behind the scenes look at Sweet CG multi sport scoreboard. We missed the uh, basketball season, but we are going to be ready to go here very, very soon with baseball and then some of the other spring sports like lacrosse and uh, soccer and things like that. So, going to give you a look at our new and improved baseball user interface and our baseball score bug or more more graphics package than score bug our graphics packages are so much more than just the bug which you'll see so what we've got here uh, we've redesigned a lot of our game tabs here so uh, you can fit more information in and what we've got going on is um, all of the your your team details and our initial release won't have it but we're going to have a, a way for you to kind of put in some poor man rosters here uh, so that you'll be able to utilize those uh, later on, but that won't be in the initial release. And then you'll be able to import and export uh, those team files at some point in the future. Uh, but you'll be able to select your team color um, and um, anytime you change that color, it will change the color for that team on the graphics package. Uh, and then we have the match details here. Um, where you can put in all of your different information for announcers and a company name, keys to the game, and, and things like that. The other thing that we'll have here, not in the initial release, but shortly thereafter, uh, will be our sponsors, uh, so that you'll be able to uh, pull off individual sponsors as well as have a rotating sponsor carousel um, that can be up as a separate bug throughout the game. So let's take a look at the bug. The first thing I'm going to show you is the matchup graphic. Um, and our graphics packages now have a lot of different uh, configurable settings. If you right click any of these buttons, you may or may not see some options. So if I don't want to show this custom text here uh, on the graphic, um, I just select that or uncheck it. Uh, if I don't want to show the team records, I can get rid of it and things like that. So I'm going to bring those back for now. Uh, so what we've tried to do is with our graphics packages to make it as flexible as possible. So if there's one thing that you don't like in a graphic, you don't want to, you know, worry about uh, showing the uh, the team records, you know, we don't have to come up with a whole separate graphics package. And you don't have to have this empty field of text on the graphic, uh, we, you can you can hide it. So um, we wanted to make that easy and flexible for you. Now for the score bug, if we select the score bug over here, um, that will animate out the previous graphic and animate in the bug. And again, um, since we like to make this all configurable for the individual, um, this is our default size, but you can change the position and change the size if you come down here to score bug size. You can change the scale, you can change the positioning. So you want it down on the bottom and you're running maybe an SD uh, graphics package and you need the bug just a little bit bigger, you can do that. I'm going to reset it back to our default though. And anytime you change these settings, it will save in the graphics package. Uh, so the next time you load it, uh, it's, uh, those changes are, um, are saved. So, um, now with the with the bug we've got you can add inside this tab there's all these different additional features within the bug itself so you want to add a pitch count it'll be there and that will rotate depending on which team is pitching uh, and then you can also have this line score kind of shoot out off the side and this line score um, will in fact what I'll do here I'm going to show you the uh, the big line score that you can use for uh, in between innings or as the final graphic. The the little line score on the bug will function the same way. The innings here will grow up to 12 innings and so what you'll see here is as you add innings you'll see 10th, 11th, and 12th and the borders here will extend out and it stays centered on the screen. And then after the 12th inning you'll start, uh, we'll start dropping previous innings. So you'll always see 12 innings, or, or the most recent 12 innings. Um, and then when you uh, select the game as final, 
uh, you get prompted to ver verify you want to do that, and then that will actually change that status to final. And if you accidentally do that, you can always click that again to go back uh, into in-game status. All right. The other thing while I'm here, we got keys to the game. Um, and then uh, within these, if you run these in your pregame and then, you know, later during, I don't know, the seventh inning stretch or whatever, you can right click these and you can go through with your announcers, you know, if, if they were successful at, at the first key and the third key, but not the second, then you can right click those to uh, highlight them into a different color. So... And these types of graphics you'll you'll find in all of our uh, all of our different graphics packages. So football, basketball, uh, lacrosse, soccer, all of those will have the similar type of of options. All right, let's go back to the scorebook. I'm going to increase the size here just a little bit for this demonstration. What you'll see here is the NDI feed. Um, that we generate with our internal graphics uh, system. So any NDI capable system on your network will be able to access this graphic feed. Getting over here to the controls, um, what you'll see here is you've got the top of the first, um, and then if you advance this to bottom of the current inning, that'll change to bottom of the first, and so on and so forth. But um, so up here we have information for the um, the batting team and then down here for the pitching team. So these drop downs right here are not functional yet. I was telling you earlier we've we'll be able to have players listed here, and eventually when when we implement that feature, then you'll be able to select players here. So the player that's batting, you would click them and the, your roster would show up and you would select them, and then. Um, you would be able to click this little tab and that player would show up. Whoops. All right, so they're batting, and then you can also select the pitcher here, and then that pitcher's name would show up up here. So as the, the inning unfolds, um, anytime you, you click one of these uh, macro buttons, it's going to advance. Um, all pertinent information. Uh, so if it's a ball strike or an out, it's also going to advance uh, the pitch count for that pitcher. So then if they're out at bat, um, that will also reset the balls and strikes and advance the out. And then you do have to click uh, the button to toggle the out. Eventually we will automate that process so you don't have to click the out button. But the initial uh, release will, will not have that automation piece to it. And then if you, uh, um, down here, you'll be able to see uh, your line score, runs, hits, and errors. And then if you do accidentally screw up something um, and you need to manually adjust the values, we have this counter corrections tab where you can go in and uh, modify uh, all of those values, including the inning. Um, we do have a clock here. The idea here is you can... Um, you, if you wanted to just have a, a running clock of how long the game has been going, um, you could you could do that, and then just let it keep running till the game is done. Uh, so you you have a record that the game went an hour and a half or two hours or or whatever. Um, none of that's necessary though. Okay, so um, if the player gets a hit and they advance to uh, base, then you can use these buttons here to um, toggle the different uh, bases. And when you get to the end of that first half, or the top half of the inning, you select bottom of the current inning. Are you sure? Click OK. And then that's going to reset all of your, uh, your pitch count. And you'll notice here that the pitcher then changes back to zero and then the background ch changes color to match the pitching team color and then you go through all of that again when um, you'll see here on the line score now we have a zero list here and all of these are blank and then when you 
advance to the next inning. And if you look at that line score again, now you'll see that you have a zero there. And when you get to the bottom of the second inning, then a zero appears there. Um, <clears throat> some other things you can do over here, you can show your broadcast team. And we have over here in our match details, you can have three different announcers. Um, but let's say you only had one announcer or two. Well, what you can do is right click the graphic and you can say, oh, I've only got two announcers, oh, I've only got one. And then uh, you can even, uh, so we've got these in the, the gold color here is their, their Twitter field. Um, but if you wanted to, you if you wanted to just um, use that in, instead for their announcer title, so whether they're the play-by-play -play or the analyst or whatever, you could do that. But if you don't even want to show that, then you could just get rid of that, and that will increase their the font size for them. The other thing we'll have here, um, I was telling you about the sponsors, we'll have this sponsor carousel that will um, have this little tab that shoots out the side here. And then uh, over here in our game status, there'll be this sponsor carousel where you can select an, a specific sponsor or you can just start a uh, start the carousel and it'll advance the sponsor in timed intervals. And then we would also have this marquee control that would shoot down the side here uh, out of the bottom. And that would be just a rotating uh, selection of uh, text fields that would uh, update, or you could select in the same way that you could with the sponsors, you could have it play on the rotation, or you could select individual ones. And then we also have this custom text. Uh, so if you're hosting a, a conference tournament uh, and it's the semifinal game, you know, you could um, conference, conference semifinal. You know, whatever you want to put in there, you can do that. And we hope to have this released very, very soon. And uh, when we have a bug for uh, lacrosse and soccer and some of those other uh, sports, uh, we will do a similar type of behind-the-scenes video. If you have any questions, contact us through the website. Uh, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash sweetcg. Uh, to stay in updated with all of the latest news and announcements and conversations. Thanks.